Are, are we going? Is, is it on? Is it on? Okay. Okay, I'll go, baby. Thank you so much. Hey, Ryan Middleton, I got a question for you. How serious is your relationship with Jesus Christ? Is Jesus Christ your Savior? Or is Jesus Christ your Lord and your Savior? You see, there's a difference between calling Jesus Savior. Even the devil himself knows that Jesus is the Savior. But to call him your Lord, oh man, that's an entirely different thing. You know, I heard a story one time about this man and this woman. They got engaged to be married and both of them were so excited they couldn't wait for the wedding. They really couldn't. Man, they, 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 they planned for it. They sent out invitations for it. They planned some more. They sent new invitations. Finally, they held the ceremony. Had thousands of people show up. It was so beautiful. A live band was playing in there. Chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. Even a horse-drawn carriage at the end of it. And when they leave the wedding ceremony and they get into the carriage and they're pulling away, the bride looks at her husband and she says this. She says, I'm ready to go home. And he said, oh yeah, I'm ready to go home too. And she says, no, I don't think you understand. I want to go back to my mom's house. Take me back to mama. And he said, would you, would you, you leave something there? And she says, no, no, that, that's where I live. And he said, but baby, we're married now. We got our own house. What are you talking about? And she said, well, you didn't think just because we got married, I was going to change my life, did you? No, no, I'm going to be your bride. You're going to be my husband. We've got the certificate of marriage. We're golden now, honey. But I'm not changing my life for you. I'm not changing where I sleep or how I act or who I see or what I do. Oh, man, that's worldly religion right there. The problem is the difference between religion and relationship is this. Relationship is focused on Jesus Christ at all times and continually evaluates the heart of yourself to see if you're in line with the will of God. Whereas religion, religion is like, man, I've done what is legal and I'm good to go and now I can follow God and hey, I'm perfect. But God is like, have you ever evaluated yourself? Have you ever desired intimacy with me? Have you ever wished that it could be only the two of us, me and you? That's the difference. That's the difference. I run into a fella and he asked me the question, man. He's taking God so serious in his heart. He's got a passion for him and he loves him. And he says, man, did you know that it's, it's actually a sin to break the speed limit? He gets this from Romans chapter 13 where it says that God placed every authority and there's no real authority except for God himself. And if we break the authority that has been placed above us, we're committing a sin by breaking a direct commandment from God. This man, he was saying, man, if God has placed the authorities above us and they say we can only go 45 miles an hour, then that's all we can do or else we're breaking a command from God. We got even farther in our conversation and, and we, we, we got, to, got to tearing it apart a little bit and we, we decided this, that there's a number of reasons to break that speed limit. If it's an emergency, then you're not doing it out of any heart issue. You're doing it because there's an emergency you got to get to. But if you're breaking the speed limit because you're angry, then well, your sin is anger. If you're breaking the speed limit because the person won't get around, you won't go get out of your way and you're trying to get in front of them, well, then there's an issue there of, of patience. That's your sin. See, but religion would have always looked at the speed limit and said, don't break the speed limit no matter what. But relationship says... Man, I better never break this speed limit because if I do, I'm breaking a direct commandment from God. But if there's an emergency that comes up, then it's, it's going to be okay because my relationship has allowed for that. 